Hey there! Don't be confused. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't like in Bewitched, where a new actor started playing Darren. Don't think, who's that in the role of Mickey? Mickey and Precious are at home having a nice weekend for themselves. I'm Gordon, Mickey's friend Michael. Uh, Gordon and I are on our way to Manning Park for a couple of days of snowshoeing. But you may remember me from Season 1, where we went on a snowshoeing trip. And we are now uh, beyond hope. Uh, we've just literally. had a, literally beyond hope. Cafe and lots of pie. Lots of pie. The, uh, <laughs> yes, got pie to go. We, we pretty much cleaned them out of pie. So now we've got a bit of a drive ahead of us, and then we'll be at Manning Park. Probably about two hours, I think. Yeah, and it's looking not, not bad. Not bad. No, I don't think there's any snow on the on the mountain passes. Um, snow early this morning and late last night, but during the day the temperature's up to probably about five degrees, six degrees Celsius. So. Yeah, and we're heading up there on a Sunday, so hopefully most of the other snowshoers, skiers, and campers will have headed home and we'll have some of the trails for ourselves. Gord thinks this is a beaver, but it's actually a marmot. We've got some lemon, lemon pie, coconut, coconut cream. cream, and blue berry, blueberry. Treats for later. Yeah. <laughs> There's two of us, but we wanted three pieces of pie. <laughs> scientists will be able to track climate change by our annual visits to Manning Park. <laughs> so we just checked in and um, registered. We $13 a night to park in one of the parking lots. Last year we were here, what, Michael, at the exact same time. <laughs> and we'll clip in some video from last year, but there was a ton of snow. As you'll see from uh, some of the clips we just took as we arrived, there's far less snow. We were yeah. just talking to the people at snow. Manning Park and they noted that ski hills closed the uh, Official snowshoeing is closed. Anywhere we're down low, so we're at the lake at about what 4,200 feet, 1,300 meters. Um, you have to be up higher before you're going to find a lot of snow. There's snow here, but I, I don't think we'll be tromping on the lake because it's starting to look a little melted. We would have to wait to get out onto the ice in our snowshoes. So it's going to be a bit of a different trip. We'll see how this works. Um, still very beautiful. Not lots of snow, but some snow. And we'll stay in one of the two uh, parking lots tonight and and see where we go tomorrow. We're at what's called Lone Duck Campground. Uh, we may stay here rather than the parking lot by Lightning Lakes. It's a little bit more wilderness feeling. And there's also a warming hut that we could come into if we wanted to get some firewood. We're going to explore a little bit, then go for dinner at the lodge. Lone Duck 1. In the summertime, this is actually for group camping, I think. But it's winter camping from October 10th to May 1st. And there's uh, two or three warming shelters. We'll head into one right now. A couple of outhouses, a little bit of a leftover snow cave. At least that's what we're assuming it is. It's not a bear's den. Not much left right now. Two years ago we tented over here. Yes. <laughs> but as I recall, the snow is much, much deeper at that time. The snow is much deeper. I, I didn't have a winter weight sleeping bag. Yeah, that's true. It was a, more of a challenge. Yeah. And the hut, actually, I don't think it had been finished. It looks like it it's was. finished now. Yeah. Check out the warming hut. It's not for sleeping in. Nice wood stove. Oh, somebody's left some very big pieces of wood. I think we'll buy some wood and come back here this evening and have a fire. A little bit more room than the van. I think there's a second warming hut uh, over there. But it's primarily used in the summer for group camping. And this is very close to the lake. Yeah, very close. Probably a one minute walk, if that. The original plan was that Gordon and I were going to round up some wild horses, tame them, then ride them through the park. But now... We're going to have to change our plan. Not 
frozen anymore. I don't think we're going to be able to cross it anywhere. Yes. Unless we're farther back in the mountains. I think if you brought your inflatable kayak... It would have been more appropriate. Yeah. Although we would only be able to paddle for, oh, 35 seconds and then we would have been stuck in. Does he have an icebreaker attachment to the bow? <laughs> we have snowshoes. We just didn't think we'd need to put them on given um, some of the road conditions. We're not smart. <laughs> I think I'm quite smart. I'm, I'm the one walking after the guy that's already put the holes in the snow. <laughs> think light. I'm actually going to go through the trees, Mike, because I think there's less snow and I'll be able to get there sooner. And my theory was correct until right about here. There we go. Trailbreaker Ale. What Gordon and Michael drink when they're out hiking. <laughs> After a 50 kilometer hike, having a well-deserved break. <laughs> More like a half hour or 45 minutes walking in the, in the rain and the snow, but still, it was nice. So Mike's just having a quick nap and I think we're going to go for dinner. It's not bad. You can see we've got a bit of blue sky. The clouds are moving quickly though. I think we'll get some snow probably late at night. Not a lot. Weather forecast at only a few millimeters pausing you can hear some of the birds though there's not nearly as much snow as there was last year when we were here it's still nice the snow showing is not going to be quite as exciting but uh, it's nice because there's a lot of a lot of birds and things that are out that normally wouldn't have been out if it was a bit more wintry so see, there's been a lot of these trees and stumps have been cut down by beavers actually there's likely a beaver dam somewhere not too far from here they fixed the bear it had a big chunk of wood taken out of it all right so we're in the worm cut Mike's just hammering some uh, we're getting some wood and we're going to try and get this little stove going and have a little fire in here. It's cold. Temperature outside is about, what, it's freezing zero yeah, right now? Yeah. It's a little warmer in here, but hopefully this fire will work for us. I think we've got a decent fire going in the stove. Pretty good. It's going to be a little bit longer and I think this will be quite warm in here. Yeah. Fire's always burning quite good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a, a glass window. It's got a steel metal bracket, so the stove heats up and it sounds like it's burning well but we don't actually get to enjoy the sort of flame unless we open the door like this. Good morning. It's a beautiful day here, uh, about minus two out. Uh, Mike and I actually, I think, uh, both slept really well. I haven't asked him actually, but I, I slept in, which is unusual for me. Cool in the van, we kept the furnace at a toasty six degrees, so uh, six degrees Celsius, so they, uh, we didn't want to use up too much propane. Actually, it was less about using propane. It was more about not having the furnace come on that often because uh, you do wake up. So it actually didn't come on until probably about, I don't know, two or three in the morning and then came on a few times. But great night. Um, almost blue sky outside, so we're kind of excited. Uh, get out. Hopefully we get in a bit of a snowshoeing or hiking. We were debating whether we'll do breakfast here. We're camped in the um, uh, Lone Duck. Uh, area or whether we just actually pick up and drive down to the lake near Lightning Lakes and have breakfast there Find out soon So when it's just Mickey and I we usually put the bed together and have a full bed But with Mike and I we actually have structured it just so we have some sleeping bags on either side and just make the beds up into twins And that works out really well um, As long as you're level if you're not level one of you may be rolling one way or the other some fresh freshly baked muffins that Mickey was kind enough to make for us before we left for our trip and we're boiling some water for coffee and tea. We're having a lazy morning. Sorry. We were talking about not having quite as 
fast start to the day, but it's because it's sunny and beautiful, and we really want to just enjoy it while we can. We can uh, we'll get out on the trails soon enough, but having a nice uh, leisurely breakfast. There's no peak we have to bag or anything we have to do to a schedule. No, it's just a nice morning, so we're enjoying it. Snow is really soft here, as you can tell. You're not that tall. I know. That's with snow. Okay. How many times have we practiced snowshoeing lately? Uh, okay. This is very soft. The, ge the, the ducks are making fun of you. I know. Man. Of course, a good friend would help. Yeah. Well, somebody, Perhaps I can phone one. Somebody's got to run the video. <laughs> I wouldn't want this moment to be lost to posterity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, at some point I will actually need help. I can't, like every time I try to stand up, my weight breaks through the crust. Let me ask the ducks if I should help you. Oh, you got it now. I was just about to give up. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. You right? Yeah, I got up. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the snow is so soft. So we're just following a little creek along and we come to another little lake. But as you can see, it's starting to rain. We led the blue sky this morning and now we've got largely just gray, dreary clouds. We're just gonna uh, sit down here and have some lunch. It's nice and dry, kind of covered by the trees. We get a decent view just of this little pond lake. And uh, maybe the rain will stop. We're hoping, cross fingers. If you visit Vancouver and go to Granville Island Market, the Oyama Sausage Company makes the best sausages, pâtés, and so on. So this is in the paid endorsement. So today we got Holland Jaegers. Thank you. And uh, a chunk of some sort of cheese. And, yeah. and a bagel from Rosemary Rock Salt. Pleasant. Cheese, sausage, bagels. The, the classic hiking lunch. Very good. All right, rain stopped. We're back into, I won't call it blue skies, but you can see some blue patches. So what we're gonna do right now is abandon our snowshoes and basically just cut through the forest to where I know there's a trail um, a little ways off to our north. Just makes it a little bit faster. It's pleasant to go through, but it's uh, we're post holing a lot. I think the farther east we go, the less snow we're gonna run into. So end of hike, we're back, um, and it started to rain again. Uh, so good timing though. Yeah, and we're glad that we didn't decide to hike into Lightning Lakes today because uh, it looks like it's raining pretty steadily over there. But it's still kind of bright. Yeah. Um, we had rain for maybe, what, like five, ten minutes? Yeah. And then we went back into sun, so it was nice. Yeah, yeah. and the rain made for a nice lunch break under the trees. Yeah, it was great. So now I think it's time for pie. <laughs> Only about uh, 200 feet to our van. It started to rain reasonably heavily. So, so rain almost snow. So we 
taking shelter under this large tree where it's very dry. That's right. They're, when when they eventually find our body, they'll say, if only the fellows had made it another 50 feet, they would have been okay. I was saying if worse came to worse, we could actually bivouac in the outhouses over here. Oh. Good little snowshoe jaunt. Cheers. More trail baker, trail breaker backcountry ale? Uh, yes. <laughs> We're not sponsored. No. Yet. Oh, it's good. And the Whiskey Jacks have found us. Yeah. I don't think they're going to want to share. Mike's having the coconut cream pie. I'm having lemon rang. Perhaps you can do the big reveal. Yes. Yes, instead of cakes and ale, it's pie and beer. That's right. So we burned off probably 500 calories. <laughs> we'll ingest 700. <laughs> it's all about balance. So we've got some nice sun right now, but you can see the clouds a little off to the west are a bit ominous. We have finished dinner. We've also got one piece of pie left that we're splitting. And we've also got the uh, fire going uh, once again, trying to get a little bit of heat in the shelter. What's the fire look like, Mike? That's great. Yeah. Warming the place up. It's probably, oh, I don't know, toasty 10 degrees in here now. <laughs> much, much warmer if you're closer to the fire. Though. That's it. Good. Well, good morning. Looks like a fairly nice start to our day. It uh, didn't freeze last night. I think it got close. Um, snow's nice and crispy, but uh, didn't actually freeze. The puddles around where our van's parked are still unfrozen. Um, furnace never came on at all last night, uh, and we had it at, set at a toasty 6 degrees because we've got warm sleeping bags. A nice quiet night, no one else here the last couple of days. About 100 meters uh, above us, it snowed, but uh, where we were was a little bit of light rain, which is actually what's happening right now. Just a slight drizzle. Um, you won't be able to see it in the camera, it's just a mist rain. And uh, but we can see some blue skies coming this way um, from the west, so hopefully it'll be a nice start to the end of our trip. Alright, so we're just out for a pre-breakfast hike. We're out maybe doing a couple kilometers, enjoying the early morning. Yeah, it's, uh, everything's pretty icy, so we decided to put on our spikes. So those are the micro spikes. Most of the trails are just hard ice in here, not a lot of snow. So yeah, the micro spikes worked a lot better than uh, snowshoes for us. Yeah, yeah, it's nice being up early enough to catch the morning bird song. Yeah, the birds have been, uh, it's just great. It's quiet. Like, again, we've been here two days. We have not seen anybody else. No. Um, other than if we went to the lodge. Yeah. Uh, but there's no one out on the trails. There's, uh, well, no one on the lakes would be a good idea. It wouldn't be a good idea this time. No, there's us, the pine siskins, the ravens, the uh, whiskey jacks, whiskey jacks, the sellers jays, and, and a couple of things I didn't know what they were. <laughs> we're having smoked salmon and scrambled eggs for breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. Lots of protein. This is Mike's, because we only have, I guess, three pieces between the two of us, so you need more pie after a trip in the mountains. So Mike and I had a great trip. Um, this morning it was raining and snowing, mostly rain. If it had just been snow, we probably would have gone for more of a snowshoe trip. But uh, we did a good hour-long walk, and we really enjoyed it. Uh, then had breakfast in the warming hut and decided to head home. I'm just actually going to drain some of the batteries right now. So to a, you should get the batteries probably about 13.1 volts or a little bit lower when you store it. So I'm going to just turn on some electricity and drain the batteries a little bit if I can. If you enjoy our videos, please don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up and give some consideration to subscribing. Thanks very much and we'll see you next time probably with Precious and Mickey.